Disasters happen all the time, and with this skill, you know, the citizens, scientists can just respond at any moment. What you're seeing here is called a mapathon, which is really basically a mapping party where we get together and we try to create geospatial data for a particular cause or a purpose. They'll be able to look at and come up with population data and be able to make decisions about spraying for malaria mosquitoes. Youth like Mappers that. is a network of student chapters around the world. Right now we have 39 universities in 12 countries. And tonight we had a group from Nigeria and from Colombia. And our co-founding university at West Virginia University. Everyone was mapping in the same place and we will be doing a little friendly competition to see how well we did and, and um, how many edits to the map that we made and how much we contributed. It's great to get a lot of features mapped. So when there is this competition, everybody wants to map more, to create more features. Everyone knows about Google Maps, um, so that gives you some idea about what online mapping is about, but this is a little bit different. OpenStreetMap is kind of like a wiki so that people can actually add to the map. The technologies have been around for about 10 years, but just in the last few years has it really become uh, something that um, is very easy to understand and accessible to everybody using the, the tools from the humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. Anyone can learn this technology. It's very easy. We make it possible and part of the Mapathon to teach people how to do it. Um, so you don't have to be an expert in mapping or geography. You just have to um, be willing to learn and spend a little bit of time. OpenStreetMap is easy software. So all you need to do is create an account and start and join a project that's already there and start editing. So once they created uh, a username and password through an OpenStreetMap, they will complete it from their home, from their work, and also uh, what they can do, they can also find other projects they are, interest they are interested in. Okay. Uh, what we did for Mozambique project is uh, once the student follow the link, it will sh direct them to the map, of, uh, to the uh, aerial image of Mozambique, and on that aerial image, the, the students will add street lines and they will define that this is a street line. They will also uh, draw a polygon around each house. So those uh, people on the ground who are doing the, the spraying for mosquitoes, they will know that this is a house, this is a street. If we want, this area was not covered. So we, know, we need to, to follow that particular street and that will lead us to that area and we can spray then go back so it will save them a lot of time and a lot of efforts. Our maps that we made last spring for Mozambique helped them find about 15% more houses. So there was a lot of people missing from the map. They were going to be missing from the campaign and it could possibly have made the campaign much less effective. Young people are not the leaders of tomorrow. They're actually leaders today. And that's what we're really trying to create that space for them to take action and use their skills and learn at the same time because they have a lot to contribute and they're very good examples for all of us. <laughs>